Global Safety Council presents Preventing Contamination in the Laboratory Handling things like hazardous chemicals or specimens requires a great deal of caution. If we don't contain them, hazards can spread and contaminate the things around them, including you and your coworkers. Every day we're called on to handle substances like toxins, corrosives, and carcinogens. We think we know how to protect ourselves, but are we doing all we can? Even tiny amounts of a hazardous material, combined with a few unconscious actions, can spread contamination. Let's take a closer look. The luminescent dye that's been added to this material makes it easy to trace the path of any contamination. As we can see, the dye has been spread from the liquid on the outside of the test tube to the lab worker themselves, and can then be transferred to everything they touch. When it's this easy for contamination to occur, we need to do everything we can to prevent it. This means being very careful with the products we work with and how we handle them. To effectively shield ourselves from contamination, we need to first know about the materials we're working with. So you need to read product labels and material safety data sheets before starting to use a substance. These and other references describe the potential hazards presented by the material, and they tell us how to protect ourselves from contamination. As we think about protecting ourselves, we need to consider the four major routes of entry a material has to our bodies. Inhalation, eye contact, skin contact, absorption and injection, and ingestion.